Billy has taken over duties as the driver. And his navigator is sleeping on the job. It's a good thing we have the Garmin to tell us where we're going. <laughs> If not, we'd just be lost somewhere. Well, we've made it to Key Largo. Um, we've seen some water and some boats so far. Pulled over. You gotta stop at the visitor center, right? Because you never know what you're gonna see in the visitor center. I got my tag-alongs back here. There's Ed. Hello, Ed. Hello. There's Billy. Hello, Billy. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna I check got, out. I got my memo right here. There you go. We are stopping at the visitor center. We gotta see what it's all about. There's some great big chairs that I might have to sit in, you know, because what else do you do in great big chairs but have a great big sit down. So let's go. You know, it's it's beautiful. The drive here was really neat. Um, lots and lots of bridges, and all you see is like this, this like really blue teal colored water. I've never been to this part of Florida ever, um, so it's it's just fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna walk over, and then I'm, I'll flip the camera around. So you can actually see what we see from the site. I mean, it is, we got a great site. This is going to be, yeah, mom would have been so freaking happy. So, all right. So I am back here at the RV. Let me turn you around 
so yeah this I'm standing at the corner of the RV and this is what you see we're as close to the water as we're gonna get here so yeah thank you for the amazing sight mom you picked the perfect one I will show you around a little bit when we get settled in um, we've still got several hours before um, dark so we're gonna explore a little bit like I said I've never been here before so we're gonna see what's going on here in Key West here in Key West um, I'll take you through we'll see some some of the different sites in here it's $17 a person to get in cash only so remember that when you're coming through um, it looks like there's a nice little garden we're fixing to go through the house so I will do pictures and stuff like that as we go through So we just went through the, the Hemingway house. Um, we took the guided tour. It's it's included if you want to do it or you can just walk around. I recommend taking the guided tour. The tour guide that we had was amazing. So knowledgeable. Tells you so much about it. So what we're going to do is I couldn't record while she was doing her, um, her talks. There was a lot of people in there. So what we're going to do is once the tour is over, they encourage you to walk back around. Um, they don't let you go up into, or the tour, excuse me, the tour does not go up into his personal writing studio but you are allowed to go in there after the tour so that's where we're gonna go and that's where his original um, typewriter that he wrote um, like 70% of his works here on um, it's it's gonna be so cool to see I'm gonna take pictures and I will put some video out here um, just as we walk around they have 58 cats that are directly descended from um, the original cat snowball the the multi toed poly I can't remember what it's called, Polly something. Um, bunches of toes. So um, there are cats all over the property. You will see them everywhere. Um, and they have famous names. So they have like Joe DiMaggio and all that kind of stuff. And they're really cool. So um, come down here, take the tour. It's worth the 17 bucks. Oh, look, here's a kitty. Here's a kitty. So anyway, what I would say, it's worth the money. Come down here, take the tour. I'm going to take you around the house, but um, you really need to come down here and walk it yourself.
people in the house right now. It's really hard to do any kind of video inside. But this is where he would come out every morning and right around the corner walk over to his writing studio. So we are going to be be done with the, the Hemingway house. We're going to go to the lighthouse now, which is right across the street. Um, and we can actually look down on his house from over there. One last thing before we head over to the lighthouse. Um, they said that people do weddings here, so this is really neat. So um, I'll flip the camera around and just kind of show the area that people, um, we didn't ask how much it cost and all that kind of st stuff, but it's really neat that you can actually come and if, if um, Hemingway has had a huge impact on your life, maybe you get coming here and get married. So let's do a flip around real quick. And I'm gonna come to the corner here and just show you the area. So yeah, that's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And this is how you travel in style in Key West. How cool is that? So we are here at the Key West Lighthouse. Um, it's 88 stairs. Again, this one is $17 to go up into. So um, I'll tell you how worth it it is after we get to the top. Um, let you look out over Key West. Um, they say it's the best view. Um, Hemingway's house is the highest house in um, Key West at 16 foot above sea level. So um, this is 88 stairs up and you can go out and walk around. So um, let's go up into the lighthouse and see what it looks like. Billy was scared going up, I think. Not scared, but his vertigo kicked in. I was fine all the way up. And then when we got out, I was like, oh shit. The view was absolutely The wonderful. view was amazing. It You'll was see beautiful. the view. You, the view's be probably before I even say this to you. But, um, so we, we walk around. You can only go around the, the lighthouse in one direction. And there was two guys <laughs> in front of us. And we got almost around and they stopped. And then there's people at the door talking about helicopter crashes and bleeding, and to, bleeding death. to death. <laughs> no, please don't. Do I finally had to speak up and I said, I'm sorry, y'all have got to move. <laughs> so I had to get back inside. Um, coming down was okay. Um, it's just going downstairs that much as it was killing my knees. But we're fixing to go into the um, quarter, quarter masters or keepers quarters cottage and museum. Folks, I got my entourage back there with me. Yay! All right, so we are going to the southernmost point in the U.S. It's like less than half a mile down the road. So we are walking. And uh, apparently the thing to do when you are in Key West is also do the Duval Crawl. Um, Duval Street is 
apparently where all the cool kids go. So we're gonna avoid it because we're not that cool. Um, actually, we're gonna walk down it. You can't go to places like this and not go to the main street. You know, you go to um, New Orleans, you go to Bourbon Street, you go to Memphis, you go to Bur uh, Hill Street. You know, you gotta go down the main drag, see all the bars, see all the shops. That's what you do. So um, we're gonna come down here and do the obligatory picture with the southernmost point in the U.S. And then um, as we are headed back to the car, we will do the Duval crawl. I'm going to do the walk because I doubt I'll be drinking in order to do the crawl. Okay, so we are at the southernmost point. There is a line of people waiting to get their pictures taken. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show y'all that we're here. So, yep, there it is. What they say is the southernmost point of the U.S.